Hello, my old friend. I didn't realize how much I'd missed you. It's been months since I've seen you. You're looking so big and blue, just how I left you. It's been a long, cold winter, and the ocean makes me feel free. I run my feet through the sand. I leave my worries by the sea. I tell my secrets to the waves and hold the sun upon my face. Please never leave. I've been waiting for your embrace. Tulum, a city and beach town located on the Yucatan Peninsula. Known for its white sandy beaches, beautiful cenotes, and ancient Mayan ruins. Zama, the city of dawn. Tulum is situated facing the Caribbean Sea and has some of the best preserved Mayan ruins on the coast. The Coba and Mayan ruins, over 2,000 years old and a staple part of the Mayan indigenous history. That, combined with a pristine sandy coastline, make Tulum a popular and beautiful destination. Seaweed galore! I just got some amazing shrimp tacos, one of my favorite parts about Tulum. Today I'm going to try to go into Tulum and see what other great food I can get, show you around a little bit. I'm so excited to show you. Woo! Transportation along the coast in Tulum is generally via taxi or on foot. I took the humid route and walked. Just walking into town to get some bug spray because I got eaten alive. Check out my leg. Oh, so many bug bites. They burn a lot of wood in copal, which is a tree resin also used by the Mayans to ward off mosquitoes, but man, they are still ruthless. The structures and architecture in Tulum is beautiful and ornate. Much of it is hand thatched from wood and naturally sourced materials. Many of the hotels had hand woven birds nests like terraces, beautiful ways, tree canopies, and natural sanctuaries. In town had many roadside stands selling fruits, vegetables, tacos, cervezas, and coconuts. You can't forget about the coconuts. I've had coconut water many a times, but never right out of a young green coconut. The green coconuts are young and moist. They're best for coconut water. As they mature, they turn brown and are better for the coconut meat inside. It's a super hot and humid day and I saw this coconut stand on the side of the road and I thought, who doesn't love some fresh coconuts to cool you off? I could see myself as a coconut stand worker. I think I would just eat and drink all the coconuts so they may not work out too well for myself, but they're really tasty. Do you like fresh coconuts? So good. And the food? The food was surprisingly delicious. Here's a few pictures of some of the food. Unfortunately, I was too excited for most of it and had finished it all before getting a chance to take a picture. This is the traffic situation all day, every day. Traffic on traffic on traffic. But at least it's by the ocean. There were so many pelicans. Every morning I would wake up and watch the pelicans feed in the lagoon, and in the evening watch them fly in unison across the water surface, scanning for the evening catch. And the pharmacy. Nothing like a roadside drug hut. A little dangerous in my opinion, but... Check out the sign behind me. This is a pharmacy in Mexico. 
all these crazy specials and deals. Valium, Tramadol, controlled substances, benzodiazepines, all of this stuff you can get over the counter without a prescription. It's crazy because in the United States you need a prescription for all of these things. There really isn't that many people in any of these pharmacies. In the United States you would see people through the door getting all of this stuff if it was all unregulated. Really interesting to see. Let's go inside. Anabolics, steroids, ADH. Oh my goodness. Xanax, Ambien, Clonopine. So crazy. Check out these little lizard friends of mine hanging out doing some very important pharmacy surveillance. There's no sidewalk, so try not to get pricked or clipped. Just some low key police patrol. I saw them questioning some civilians on the street. Who knows what kind of mischief they keep at bay. One night, I went into town. I was tempted to check out this rooftop pocket pool, but decided to hedge my bets and stick with the pizza joint before my last day. Built on a bluff facing the rising sun in the east, the Tulum ruins are the only Mayan settlement built overlooking the sea. In the Yucatec language, Tulum means wall, which refers to the huge walls that were resurrected to surround the settlement on three sides, with the fourth facing the sea. Zama, the city of dawn, named so by the Mayans, was built facing the rising sun. It served as an essential trading port for the Mayans, as well as a distribution hub into the Yucatan through Coba, Chichen Itza, and other Mayan settlements. Huge canoes would shuttle trade materials back and forth between inland areas to Honduras, Costa Rica, and Panama. The main structures left behind were mostly ceremonial and political in use. My favorite building was the castle, El Castillo. El Castillo was the tallest building and it stood front and center on the bluff, offering a commanding view of the ocean and served as both a lighthouse and a lookout tower. Fun fact, on the secret beach, loggerhead and white turtles return every year between June and October to lay their eggs. Usually I'm wandering around ghost towns built hundreds of years ago, but these Mayan ruins have stood the test of time. Constructed thousands of years ago, I can't help but imagine what life in a sea cliff fortress in the 16th century was like. <laughs> 